the tree is making a tree shaped shadow on the garage. That's so cool. Oh, I see what you're looking at now. Hey. Hey. What are you up to? I'm just dispatching this um, order that came in on our website. Nice. Okay, so that's on your to do list. This is actually the last one I'm doing for today. Awesome. There's a few more up over by the door. Cool. Kale has been really busy with a wholesale order. He managed to get a really big one finished and out the door today, so that's a huge relief. We're sending it out in two parts, and this one is going to North Carolina. Yep. That's this exciting. is package one of two, and then hopefully two of two will be going out the door maybe in a week or so. Nice. Yep. I also made some body butter, some lip balm, and some more body butter base. <laughs> And my to-do today, I have to finish off those bath bombs that I made, those Christmas bath bombs. I have to paint them. I'm really excited to see what they look like painted. And then I have to also finish off the bath bears because that's a part of a retail order we need to get out the door as well. So yeah, that's what I'm bringing you guys along with me for today. Did you get the sink working? Yep, sink works. Got the space heater <laughs> blasted underneath the, the sink there. So. so it just needed to warm up a bit. That was the big issue. Yeah. Dempsey's also glad that the sink is running again. So here are the bath bombs, all dry. And they look almost the same from when I pressed them yesterday. Some of them have a few cracks, like this poor guy. And the reason why he has a crack in the middle is because he was the last bath bomb that I pressed. And I didn't have enough to go all the way to the top, so I was really pressing down on the mold in the vacuum mold. Usually I fill them up all the way to the top and then I smooth it out with the baking tool scraper thing. I wasn't able to do that. So this side of him, the flat side, was a little uneven. And when you have a bath bomb resting on an uneven side, then gravity's gonna do its thing and pull down on the bath bomb. Hence why there is a crack across his belly. That's okay, he's still cute. But the Santa Claus one looks amazing. And so does Mrs. Claus. She looks fantastic. These ones look really cool. Wow. Actually, <laughs> these are a bit top heavy. And I know that because this one is listing a little bit to one side. So gravity was working its magic a little bit, but I'd rather have a fully round snow globe that is kind of leaning over to one side than one that is flat on, completely flat on the other side because I dried it like that. I still think drying it on its bottom like this is the best way to go. This one looks a lot better, perfectly even, have a little bit of secret color busting through there. And this one, I think this is the first one I pressed and he looks great, except for the little crack here, but it's nothing that I fuss too much about. Bath bombs have cracks. If you walk into any Lush store, you will find a lot of their bath bombs have cracks in them and people still buy them, so it's all good. So now with the coffee cups, these look really cool. So they had an edging here that broke off when I released them from the molds and I'm okay with that. This is what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to have that edge there from the lid on top of the coffee cup, but I think this came out really, really good. I think it turned out pretty realistic looking. This one has a bit of a crack on the side, but that is okay. So in terms of actually painting these guys, I could mix skin color and paint her skin, but I think what I'm gonna do instead is just paint the details on her face and her hair and the bow and leave everything else white. That might be my strategy for that because if you get into trying to paint into all of these nooks and crannies you might go crazy doing that and i don't have tiny little brushes i don't have super steady hands so that's not something that i'm really stoked about doing same with santa claus i think i'm just going to leave him the majority of him white and then paint his glasses eyes eyebrows and maybe his nose red and obviously with the snowman he's going to be mostly white I think. So I'm gonna stop talking and actually paint these guys. Again, it's just gonna be a quick montage of me doing that so that I don't talk your ears off. Ears is talk all of your ears off. I hope that grammar's okay. <laughs> Can you guys believe I have a degree in English literature? 
So let me get started on that and I'll come back once everything is done and painted. So here are my bath bombs I'm about to paint. I have all of my colors over here on the side and these are my painting tools. To make my mica paint I'm just going to be using 99% isopropyl alcohol and then adding the mica to that alcohol and that's basically it. So let's get to painting. Here are the finished bath bombs, all painted, and I think they turned out super cute. Look at this adorable Santa. He looks so good. And you can see, I think it's better, hmm. you can see the, the gold flecks. That's the fluoroflogopite. That's the gold that's glinting off of the white parts of the bath bomb. Oh, don't they look so cute? Mrs. Claus, Mr. Claus, and Frosty. <laughs> I made a mistake with this one. I had a glob drop here, so I, I made another tassel with a scarf. And then here are the coffee cups looking fabulous. They are very gold and look really good. Here are my snow globes 
and I think that the green, the emerald green mica base looks stunning. I don't know if I can say the same about my holly. I hope you guys figured it out that it was holly and you didn't think to yourselves, what the heck did she draw on these snow globes? <laughs> Is that Rudolph? Is that uh, a cherry? We're not so sure. But it's supposed to be holly and I think they turned out really cute. It's very Christmassy. And yeah, those are my Christmas bath bombs. I'm going to be selling these at my show. So I'll let you guys know. I'm actually going to bring you with me for that show live. Well, not live. Um, I'm going to be filming while we're there and keep you updated on how well these sell. These kind of look like cookies, don't they? Like sugar cookies? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. On to the next item. These are our embeds the next day and they are all ready to be removed from their molds and they seem to have dried really well which is good because we need them today. Let's start with this guy. These are so satisfying to pop out. They just They should pop right out and when they do out pops the perfect little cube that'll make a perfect bath bomb bear ear. And they come out by just expanding and stretching the mold. Might take a bit, but they will all pop out. Let me fast forward this part for you guys. So here are my ears. I'm going to set this aside and show you guys how these bear bombs turned out. So first of all, remember that one I showed you where I forgot to put the sparkles on top of him? I, oh, I totally forgot that he has sparkles on his head. I feel sad I forgot about the sparkles. Let's see if the glitter in the, the actual cavity part of the bath bomb tray was able to get that glitter stuck on the bath bomb. Yeah, it worked. And they're pretty stuck on there, which is awesome. So now let me do one of the most satisfying things ever, and that is to flip these over. <laughs> and since we're gonna be painting them, painting little faces on them, I'm gonna just position them so that they're facing me, so to speak. And this smells so good. This is scented in Mountain Mist from Fizz Fairy. It's a blend of eucalyptus and mint. But there's a sweetness there, so I think it might be like a spearmint more so than anything. These look like a plain bath bomb right now, but I'm going to transform them into the most adorable thing you've ever seen ever in your life. Maybe not. I might be exaggerating a little bit. <laughs> But I think they're super cute. And I mentioned before that they don't sell well online. That's changing. I am starting to get orders for these guys. I think people have to be exposed to the idea over time. And if you pull something because you think no one likes it, you might be pulling it too soon. People might be interested in what you've got, but maybe you slip their mind or they move on to something else. If you keep showing them something, Maybe they'll respond to it. So I have this gray and black mica paint still. I'm gonna repurpose it, add some more alcohol and add some more mica so that I can paint faces on these bear bombs. And I call them bear bombs because they look like little bears. At the end of it, you'll see. I mentioned that I was an English literature major, but I also minored in art history, it's reputable. And I, I've always really loved art. Drawing, painting, all that stuff. So whenever I get a chance to paint anything with a paintbrush, I'm happy. I don't paint enough though. I don't paint enough recreationally. And I really should because it brings me a lot of joy. So I'm gonna finish painting these guys and show you what they look like at the end. We're just gonna speed up here a little bit.
these are the bears so far. I'm going to add a little glint in their eyes so they don't look dead. And I'll show you what that looks like afterwards. And they're awake. See how much of a difference those little shine spots make? It's like they're really looking up at you. So we're now going to turn all of them this way so that we can attach their ears so that they can hear us. And the way we attach these guys is with water. And I'll show you how that works in a bit. So what we have here is some distilled water. I'm gonna take a little ear, I'm gonna pick a side, and then I'm gonna paint some water on that ear. And I'm gonna activate it slightly. And that is what I'm gonna use to stick on the spare's head and it stays on pretty good. I'm gonna do that for the rest of the bath bears here. So easy. So here's one side. And to do the other side, we're going to flip him over to the other side of his head so that we can attach the ear on the other side. And one ear is going to be blue, the other one's going to be green. And I only flip them over if they're pretty solid and they're still working on it. So for these guys, I think we're ready. I'm just going to take the ear, activate it with a little bit of water like that, and then stick it on his head. Doesn't take a lot, literally just a dab and he's activating like crazy. And the water doesn't activate the whole ear, just the bottom part. And it creates kind of a fluffy base, which is neat. So I'm gonna do the rest of their ears and show you what they look like when they're done. So here is the final result. And I told you, aren't they cute? They are so adorable, love them. And his sparkly head looks fabulous. And even though some of the ears aren't even, like this is kind of really low, that's okay. I think the lopsidedness adds to its charm. But these guys have been selling really well. I think this time of year people are buying stocking stuffers and these make adorable stocking stuffers. So that is all the making I had scheduled for today. I'm gonna clean this up and then check out what Kale's cooking for dinner because it smells good. tree it is so beautiful there are no ornaments that's coming and we will show you when we get the ornaments in this tree but on its own just the lights it looks gorgeous I love the twinkling lights the tree. <laughs> and what are you making I'm making some banana bread yum and I'm really excited for this <laughs> I've done banana breads with chocolate chips in them before but I'm gonna try making it with these little Reese's minis in here. Oh, I think that's gonna be excellent. These are gonna be the chocolate chips. Kale bought these accidentally for trick-or-treaters and we weren't gonna give out candy that wasn't individually wrapped and sealed. So I guess we're just gonna have to eat all this candy. It smells so good in here. That's pork belly in the oven. Oh, yum. Kale is a banana bread master. I love your banana bread. Me too. I haven't made it in a while. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give myself an extra bolus of insulin. The inspiration has struck this. you. And we have dogs here just <laughs> hoping for a drop of something good. Those are big pieces. They're of big. Reese's, Reese's Pieces cups. Oh. I also now wow. wonder how these are gonna like do in the heat. They'll probably melt, but yeah, you're right. Is the peanut butter gonna remain in globs in the banana bread? Only and one then... way to find out. I feel like don't people put like peanut butter M and M's in cookies? So yeah, those are or just regular M and M's. Cookies though. <sighs> we'll see about a bread. What do you think, Dempsey? Is it really thick? It's really thick. Yeah. <laughs> is it thicker than it usually is? No, I think it's about this thick. Okay. <laughs> it looks a little stiff. I like how you used our nice bowl to bake with. 
This was a present from my friend. Isn't that what it's for? A commenter said that I was lucky to have a husband that let me film him in the shower. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I don't think just uh, any husband would allow that. I am lucky. He's so sweet. Oh, this looks so good. This is Kale's baked pork belly. And what we do is we slice it up into little pieces and we wrap it up in lettuce and we eat it with rice and some Korean banchan or Korean side dishes and some soybean paste and it's the most delicious thing ever. Oh, and of course, kimchi. Don't forget the kimchi. It is so, so good. So I'm just gonna eat this with my husband. And for those wondering, this is how Kale's banana bread turned out. It was so good with the huge chunks of Reese's pieces. 10 out of 10, he really outdid himself. But that's the end of the video. All of the recipes for the stuff I made today is in my Patreon with all of the steps on a printable PDF for your convenience. And speaking of the Patreon, thank you to everyone who chooses to support me on there, especially these guys, my bubble BFFs listed right here. You guys are so amazing and generous. Thank you. I'm gonna do half of this piece first. This is your piece, your butter yep. piece? Okay, cheers. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yum. Good job, Kale. That's a moist banana bread. Mm-hmm. I got a big Reese's Pieces piece in my bite. I, I haven't actually had a re Here's one. I haven't had one yet. Just the bread is nice and moist, but now it's like a big chocolate chip. Nailed it. <laughs>